What's up guys, Jarv here back today jumping into Destiny. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how you can spawn Purak the Foreseer's heir over in the Dreaming City. If you're watching this video, it's likely you need to take this boss out to complete your fifth Riven's wish. So today we're going to show you where and how and the quickest way to complete the wish this week. Now if you're new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe. But without further delay, let's jump into the video. Now another week and another Riven's Wish. For week 5 of Riven's Wishes, you need to either take out 80 Taken bosses or defeat Purok the Foreseer's heir, which can be found over in Rhea Sylvia in the Dreaming City. Now Purok is a Taken world boss and therefore you will need to activate certain objectives first before he spawns in. Now the first thing you'll need to keep an eye out for in Rhea Sylvia, which you can find on the north side of the Dreaming City, are Farseer's Saboteurs. Now these spawn at the top and bottom of Rhea Sylvia. Now these will spawn in between when enemies are pushing against each other as well as public events. They aren't on a timer, but there's a lot of things going on in Rhea Sylvia, so you will need to be very patient, but they are very consistent in where they spawn at the top side of the map or over at the very bottom at the other side of the bridge. Now you will know one has entered Rhea Sylvia as it will say that a Sebater is wandering the Dreaming City. So if you haven't spotted them at that point, this is your opportunity to explore and go find them. Now they are taken mages and can be centurions or even knights. And by taking out the Sabater, they'll drop a Awoken Charge. Now this charge looks very familiar and is very similar to the charges you'll find over in the Blind Well. Except for these charges, you won't be able to charge them up by throwing them at your fire team members. You will instead need to locate purple pools of light. Now by holding this charge, you will become encumbered. So you will move slowly and you won't have a double jump. So you'll need to be very cautious and careful as you navigate your way to the purple pools, which are scattered around Rhea Sylvia. And once you've managed to locate and navigate your way to one of these pools of light, this will fully charge your awoken orb. Now with the orb fully charged, you will regain some of your abilities and you will be able to jump much further and higher. With these re-enabled abilities, you'll need to navigate over to one of the pedestals near one of the statues on one of the far islands on the east side of the map. Now you will know you are at the correct pedestal as this will light up when you're close with a charged orb. And by placing the Awoken Orb in the pedestal, it will state that Puruk has arrived to claim the treasure that the team was looking for. Now Puruk is located centrally in Rhea Silver once he spawns in. Now he is a shielded Taken Ogre and he will be either accompanied by Taken Wizards or Knights and these are called Hands of the Foreseer's Heir. Now to take down Puruk's shield you will need to defeat the Hands and each Hand will drop an Awoken Charge. Now you can throw the uncharged orbs at Puruk and they will take some of that shield down but much like before if you go over to the pools of light you can fully charge them and these will take substantially more shield off for each and every orb that you throw three fully charged orbs will be enough to take out porox's shield once the shield is depleted you're free to engage and take him out with any weapons or abilities that you have now during the fight porox will also spawn taken knights so these are called sword of the foreseer's heirs and these are to replace the hands that you took out previously and will provide additional sources of awoken orbs should you need them. Now Puruk was introduced back in 2018 and was a very tanky boss back then but in 2024 he's a much easier target to take out. And once you do successfully defeat Puruk he will drop a piece of Dreaming City weapon or armor although it won't be a powerful reward. Regardless though by taking him out that will be enough to complete Riven's wish for week 5 allowing you to redeem Riven's token over Mara Sarv in the helm. Now from here on out I'm going to let a full run of my Purok encounter play out and if you have any other hints, tips or suggestions for any fellow guardians in their search for Purok then be sure to sound off down in the comments below.
good morning. Today we hope you guys are good look on how you can discover Puruk, the Foreseer's heir, in 2024 over in a dreaming city. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more Destiny 2 content. And if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with Destiny 2, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump into the game as always guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.